Hello and welcome to the first sit down video of the new year. Woohoo! We're gonna be talking about new year's resolutions and setting goals. I thought it'd be cool to do this video later in the month just to kind of check in. Like how are you doing? I know setting goals, it's a hard thing to do. I totally get it. You might already have given up on a few of them and I wanna help you with it because I think I've kind of figured out a way to actually achieve goals now that I'm 30. <laughs> I've kind of figured it out, but I actually wanted to talk about my goals first, my own personal goals. I have put them into a chart. <laughs> and in that chart, I have multiple sections. First one being health, personal goals, skating goals, ceramics, because I do ceramics and pottery, home, YouTube, socials, and digital. So some of the goals that I have on here for health are to stretch every day. Now you would think being a fitness instructor and a figure skater, I would stretch every day, but I don't. And also stretching every day for me is different than stretching for the average active person. I need to do a little bit of deeper stretching, harder stretches, because my flexibility is more overdeveloped than normal. And having that flexibility allows me to do what I do and to keep doing it for a long period of time. Also to take a Epsom salt bath every week, I need to do that for my body. Health is mostly about taking care of myself. <laughs> to get a massage at least once a month and to get to the doctor for my TMJ and my jaw. Uh, another one is to meditate three times a week. I have not done that. I've meditated once a week so far. So we'll get, we'll get to that later on. Personal, like I want to read 30 books because I read 20 last year. I want to craft more. I want to sort through all of my shoes and my purses because I don't use them and maybe sell some or put some in storage that are just favorites of mine. Get back into scrapbooking, make more time for friends. And I also want to start writing a book. <laughs> And the book will have is not like a YouTuber book. It's it's a different it's it's a story that I kind of thought of like a long time ago that I just want I want to actually write it all out. And then with skating, my first goal was to land a double loop, and I actually did that last Friday. <laughs> so I already got one goal done so far this year. Actually, more than that. Then my next goal is to land my double flip, my double toe, and then and then do a jump in a program. Last one was to start coaching again, which I also did on that same day. So I've already gotten two goals done for this year. And in ceramics, I want to start my online shop, make my first like cohesive collection, teach classes more regularly, sell at my first art fair, and do a local art show, like in a gallery. For home, I wanted over the summer I worked on the front yard and I did the one side in rocks. I want to do the other side so that it's balanced. I want to move our sandbox that's in our backyard closer to the water so it's like a little beach and I really want to get more into my flower box garden like we kind of started it this past summer but I want to like really do it and I want to start to decorate for all of the holidays Valentine's Day is coming up and I haven't really decorated but it's not too late I still have time I could at least put up a couple things although I haven't gotten all of the Christmas stuff down so that's step one <laughs> is to get some of that down and then maybe we'll put some other stuff up. And my big project for the house this year that might carry over to next year, if I'm being honest, is to declutter our office because I have some junk in there from like school that I just don't need. I just need to go through it. I just need to let go. And YouTube, I'm currently in the process of the first one, which is filming a year of workouts. I, however, have been slowed down. Needless to say, the first week of the year, I pulled a muscle in my back and then last week, shoveling snow or should I say slush, I pinched a nerve in my back and this is the first day that I can actually focus enough to talk to you. I've been in so much pain you guys. It's ridiculous. I also would like to hit a thousand subscribers this year. That would be nice. Tell your friends. Subscribe. If you aren't subscribed it would just it would be very nice. I really really appreciate it and I want to try to make some new content. This is kind of one of them. I don't think I've ever made a, a goal thing. I've done monthly like resets, but it's not the same as working on goals. And I might do a monthly check-in specifically on what goals I set and also for you to check in on yourself and to utilize all the content I make. Like when I do content for this, I can take bits and pieces and use it here or do that. Like just to be more creative what with what I'm doing. And then on socials, I want to start posting about my pottery. I haven't done that and make more short content, which I'm currently working on. So look out for that. I want to get back into fashion. I used to get dressed for myself and to dress cute. And as you can see right now, I'm just in a hoodie and sweatpants, but that's because I can't put on any, like physically, 
it is so hard to get dressed right now, it's so painful. But I would like to get back into fashion for myself. I wanna get into Pinterest. Like, I have so many creative ideas. I literally have two art degrees. I should use them on Pinterest. <laughs> and I just, I love creative outlets, so I feel like Pinterest is just awaiting me. And I wanna make a life to know for when I rarely do find products that I like or when I'm doing creative projects and I find the resources, I wanna be able to link them so you can grab them too. And then digital, I need to go through my downloads folder. I need to clean out the photos on my phone, which I did some recently and I got rid of 10 gigabytes worth of photos, not to brag. Was it because my phone stopped working and I had to? Yes. And then I want to work on, which this kind of counteracts everything else I just said. I want to minimize my digital footprint, but like, I don't know how to describe that. If I have an account somewhere that I just don't use, I just want to delete it. You know, like it doesn't need to sit there to get hacked eventually, right? So I just want, I want to delete old accounts if I'm not using them. And then I want to start taking online classes again. Not like full-time school ones, but they're like little programs. I found some at Harvard online and I wanted to start them over the summer. And then I had been dealing with some issues that just took up all my free time, so I couldn't. But things are starting to slow down again a little bit. Well, also I'm actively trying to slow down again a little bit. So that's part of it. But yeah, those are some of my goals and I will try to check in regularly and let you know if I'm keeping up. Okay, on to part two here, my vision board. <laughs> Creating a vision board, I think is the best way to have a constant, cute aesthetic reminder of just exactly what you're trying to achieve. Like on mine, I have on the bottom left corner kind of artsy fartsy crafting things. And then over in the middle to the right, I have like self care and a little meditation bowl. And then I start to get into like the reading and the art gallery because I, that's my goal. And just the little computers to online shop and journaling and getting outside and just all that kind of stuff. Those are my priorities this year. So I just want a visual representation of them. So I definitely suggest making a vision board and make the vision board if you make it digitally. Under, understand if you make it physically, have it somewhere where you're gonna see it a lot. If you make it digitally, make it in different sizes. Make it your background on your computer, make it for your wallpaper on your iPad or on your phone so that you constantly see it all the time. And my tip for achieving goals, especially if it's a big goal, is break it down. You gotta break it down into bite-sized pieces. It's like trying to eat a triple-decker burger in one bite. You can't do it. I mean, I'm sure there's some people who can, but like, it sounds very uncomfortable. You gotta break it down, bite by bite. So take the time to be like, okay, what is this goal? What do I need to do to achieve that goal? List it all out. And then also give yourself a schedule and or time restraints. Like with skating, I can't really give myself too much of a time restraint because you can't force it, but I wanna do it within this month or within the next month. I, I can usually gauge like, oh, I'm gonna have this jump within the next couple weeks. Like I can tell I know my own body well enough, but breaking it down also, like maybe you start the first month meditating once a week and then and maybe you try to amp it up to twice a week the next month. That's what I'm gonna try to do, build on from there. And achieving your goals, breaking it down is just another way of being very organized. And one of my favorite ways to do that is to color code my calendar. Because one, it helps me know where I'm driving. <laughs> Like for work, because I work in different locations, I'll have certain colors like, oh, I need to drive here because it's purple. Or, oh, this is me time because it's green. But color coding, it really helps, at least for me. Plus it's cute. <laughs> the most important tip that I have for achieving your goals not just this year or within the year or within the decade. Just be kind to yourself, please. <laughs> You're only human. You need to rest sometimes and stop working on your goals, but don't give up on them just because you had to take a day or a week off. Like for example, I'm injured. I have not been able to skate this week, but I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna give up. I'll go back to it when I'm healed. But you have to listen to your body. You have to listen to your mental health. You have to listen to your schedule. You can't be 800 places once. So try to keep perspective while you're working on your goals. And approaching them this way is honestly gonna make you actually achieve them. Approaching them with the all or nothing mindset, you're guaranteed not to achieve your goals. And then sometimes at the end of the day, you gotta tweak them a little bit. Some goals, you might start working at it and be like, I don't like this. I thought I would enjoy this and I don't enjoy it at all. That's fine. I wanna read 10 books this year. And then you go to sit and read and you're like, I hate reading. You could have tried every genre, short books, long books. Maybe you do not like to sit and read. Try audiobooks. Maybe you wanna just listen to podcasts. Maybe you start to listen to podcasts in different genres instead and kind of fills that knowledge obtaining goal another way. Or maybe you start to learn a language. 
it's kind of all in the same vein because you're working your brain. But health-wise, maybe you're like, I'm gonna do CrossFit. Might not be for you. Maybe you need to go take beginner ballet classes. Getting dressed up, you know, and be feeling all cute is the kind of encouragement you need in order to find a form of fitness that works for you. You do not need to work out in a way that everyone else works out. You can just do what's fun and still be moving your body. There's so many ways to move the human body around, trust me. You could just play Twista 20 minutes a day. That could be your exercise and that is fun. Ooh, speaking of fun, remember the Elephant, that game with the elephant and like it would blow the butterflies everywhere and you catch them in the net? That's exercise. That's just another form of exercise. So there are options, but I would love to hear what some of your goals are and what your approach is to them. Like down in the comments, we can talk about it. And if you're having a hard time achieving your goals, I would love to help you in any way I can, like to break it down, figure it out, or maybe change them. You might need to tweak them. But yeah, this is gonna be a little safe space for achieving our own little personal goals and we're gonna cheer each other on. So with that, Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell because I don't really have a posting schedule right now and I will see ya when I see ya.